this is the world system. Exactly. And the world system is run by the God of this world. Yes. Which is Satan. Yes. And only confusion, chaos, destruction, uh, uh, everything that is the opposite of godliness, you can expect. You will never find equality in any government in this world. Come on. You will never find true justice mm. in any country anywhere in mm. this world. Come on. There is no way it can exist because the God of this world who controls the functions of this world system. Come on. Is chaos. Is chaos. It is death. Yes. It is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Yes. It is not to uplift, to renew, and to restore. You will never find that in this world system. I mean, just look at look at our nation. Yeah. I mean, look look at how how the opposite of truth the, they go through such length to yeah. make a lie the truth. Woo! And not only that, that a lie in this day and age is not even done in darkness. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and then you hear the Bible, the Bible says. What's done in darkness will soon come to light. Yeah, well, it's in the light. It's in the light. It's yeah. in the light. <laughs> it is. He's telling the truth. Uh, I know how the commercial said that is said. Somebody keeps saying that an apple is a is a banana, and they just keep saying it, you know, yeah. over and over again. It's a banana. It's a banana. No, it's still an apple. Yeah. But but you figure you keep saying it long enough. In reality, some people start saying, "Well, I can't say this." Yeah. Well, if you're in darkness and somebody keeps telling you a banana is an apple, yeah, and they keep feeding you that banana, yeah, in, yeah. in darkness, <laughs> you're gonna start believing oh, that that banana is an apple. It's an apple. Because you, you, I, you, you, you're being fed that lie. Exactly. Exactly. But when it's it's exposed into the light, you can see. And it's a banana. <laughs> it's, it's not an apple. Right, right. And you know, because because I know you. I guess you had watched some of those uh, those committee things uh, this week. And, but but besides that, the, what I remember was I think I told you a couple of days, couple of weeks ago, maybe a month or so ago, one of my friends in there said, "I only and and this I thought it was a profound statement that he made. I only want to hear the truth that I want to hear." Yeah. And it's amazing how people could even manipulate their position by saying, I'm only going to contain or listen or stay within the truth or the facts that pertain to my direction, my decision, my yeah. position. You know, uh, it can look and, and be so, look, and be so indifferent on any other position you know anybody else's look uh point of view the hypocrisy could go by because i have the right to to yeah. take that yeah. position well you know and 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 there's always diversion there's always a diversion you yeah. know look here so i can sneak this by yeah. as soon as all this stuff is being exposed then what's the the, the diversion Everybody wants you to get off of this truth that's being exposed right. and get onto this uh, pro-life. Yeah, yeah. This, you know that they all of a sudden now comes out at this particular time. Right. Out of all the time, this stuff has been before these justices. Yeah, they wait till right now to give their decision on Roe. Versus Roe v. Wade. In you other know. words, in other words, I got five. We, this is our time now. We 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 got we got five. We got a supermajority 
we're gonna go ahead and press that. Yeah, but they pressed it right when all these lies <laughs> that got at least three of these justices put into office are being exposed. Right, they told the lies. The justices said, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, we look at those things that have been established and we will not <laughs> go against those things that have precedence that's been established. And then the first chance they, they get, the thing that they said they're not going to do, they do. They do. You know, and then Clarence, uh, Clarence Thomas is there saying, hey, it, it, some y'all can bring some more cases to us too because there's a couple other presidents we yeah. want to readdress. Yeah. Yeah, listening to his wife, I believe. Or it sounds just like her. It so, sounds just like her. They want to go and uh, they're going to go after contraceptives, uh, I guess the, uh, the birth control. Yeah, yeah. I like what, what I heard. You know, they, they want to save a baby just so that they can die in school. <laughs> I know, because that's why I, I think I said it when my TikTok like I said is, 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 yes, the conception. But you got to make sure you understand the, the sanctity of life is from the conception to the grave. The other word, the whole lifetime yeah. of the person. And, and, and when you sit there and say, well, I, we want people to have the right to bear arms, we want to give them the right to have a high capacity magazine, we want to give them the right to have a weapon of mass destruction. We know that it's going to kill people. But we want to give that. We want to protect that right. Yeah. But the right for the woman to choose, well, well, you know, we're going to take that right away because the, the unborn child has the right. And and I, you know, I, I did on my TikTok, I said the fact is that it's important for the, the person to make a sound decision concerning abortion but it's, it's still up to that person. It's, it's you know what I mean? I, I just yeah. have to say it's that person that need to make that decision. And this is, I think, uh, I'm pretty sure many do not make that lightly. Well, it's, you know, you got to look at it like this. A tumor is a life. It exists within the human body. Uh -huh. so does it have the right to, to mature through <laughs> through all throughout you know right it's, a, it's until a it consumes the body right. so what gives you the right to take out a fetus and there may be and it could, could yeah you can't take this fetus out but you can take this this this, this, this tumor out right and they're then, both living organisms. It, it, you know, so if 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 they were to say you can't take cancer yeah. out, yeah, because it's a living at, at conception, <laughs> then what what you know uh uh <clears throat> what's it called uh uh for men um uh okay. prostate cancer uh huh yeah prostate yeah yeah. Yeah, you can't remove prostate cancer mm -hmm. because it is a living, you know, it's living. Uh -huh. once, it, once it forms, it's living. It is not of you. Yeah. yeah. It's separate of you living in you. But you can't take that out. Make that a law. Make that and see how quick this goes away. Right. Hey. My thing is, if God's giving you freedom of choice, yeah, he who does. is man to take it away? That's it. That, that's my whole point. Right. My and whole I don't care if it comes to life or not. He has not interfered in the choices of men. And you know what? If we if we really get down to it, if we this is just everybody listening, and the fact is that we if we're gonna start taking choices away, maybe we start taking the choices of fornication away for those who, you know, majority of the people are not even married. That have a have abortion, but the real root cause is sex. You know, premarital sex, right? Well, you know, there's people who who are married that have abortions. Yeah, I know. Now, some of them because of health reasons. I think majority of them, right? There, or they just don't want 
a child at that point of their life. I'm not making no excuses for them. Yeah. I'm just being real. Yeah. Uh, and and the bottom line is the freedom of choice. It is freedom. And, and if and if God gave you that, mm -hmm. then I don't care what what the Constitution says. It has nothing to do with God's will, and I, they're trying to use God to make this a law. When the problem it. is, there was. You know, Cain killed his brother, and God still took care of him. Yeah. Well, you know, another thing, too, is that, correct me if I'm wrong, I read in the article the other day, we have enough uh, technology today that you can take an embryo and you can either transfer it to another viable womb or you can freeze it until somebody wants to be able to carry it. You know what I mean? You, uh -huh. That's the technology. I, I read an article. It was it, it was a, uh, I guess it was March twenty twenty, where the oldest embryo known to, you know, been preserved was twenty four years, and 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 it, it was planted into the sister, uh, and and the and the child Kate was born, six pounds so many ounces, but it was a frozen embryo. Uh huh. For 24 years, we have that technology now that you don't, you don't have to you don't have to scrape a child out if, if we want to say we want to give look you have to say if they want to give both phalluses both of them. Uh, oh, you're breaking up on my end. I'm, I'm breaking up now. Still breaking up on my end. Uh uh. It could be me. Doubt it. <laughs> yeah, you freezing on me. Your screen freezing on me. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I was saying with you. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, even on the, I'm looking at the YouTube at the same time. It's time to do a little circle. Uh, but I hope I, I, I might have to go hot spot on myself in a minute. But you can hear me now, though, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah my, fine now. my point was saying was the emperor, we have the technology today that we can go ahead and allow uh, embryo to be transferred to somebody else or yeah. to be frozen. Yeah. Well, first, <clears throat> before we go any further, I want to apologize for getting us off track on <laughs> to this topic. If, if, if I yeah. pushed it this way, I hear um, you, bro. Cause we know what's going on in the same body is that the, don't forget there's other, there's nine, 10, nine commandments. And then there's obviously a whole bunch of uh, sub commandments, Ooh. but it's, it's it's ten of them, and that and there's another one that says, "Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor." And what you said earlier, we really start off was those justices got up and told a a lie. Uh, they bear false witness. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. then and then like you was talking about beyond that in our political arena we have a, what they call the big lie and people know it's a lie the person knows it was a lie the person you know during the committee you can see that they, the person didn't want to hear anything other than i won yeah but the, and, and neither do those who follow them exactly the, the the truth doesn't matter it did the fact is that they the when you want your way no matter what then there's a name for that and and we call that being a brat mm, we yeah. call that Ooh. we 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 yeah. call that we've been calling that being a brat from <laughs> from since i was a little brat yeah that's something. That's <laughs> you know something. when you yeah. you your way is your way and you don't care and you're gonna do whatever it, it takes falling out screaming crying uh, retaliating, whatever, to get your way. Mm. You know, that's a, a spoiled brat, and and everything about that falls into that that narrative. Yeah. But the 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 main thing is, and what we need to understand, fully understand, is that this is to be expected. Yeah. And nothing other than this 
is 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 to be expected because this is the world system exactly the world system is run by the god of this world yes which is satan yes and only confusion chaos destruction uh uh everything that is the opposite of godliness you can expect you will never find equality in any government in this world come on you will never find true justice mm. in any country anywhere mm. in this world come on there is no way it can exist because the god of this world who controls the functions of this world system come on is chaos is chaos it is death yes it is to steal to kill and to destroy it yes. is not to uplift to renew and to restore you will never find that in this world's system yeah. it can't happen yeah. when you truly truly look at what everyone wants well what most people who are not rich want is equality yeah. and you cannot have equality in this world system function Come it on. cannot you have to have the rich the middle class and the poor hmm. and you can get rid of the middle class and have the rich and the poor because somebody somebody has to do those things that nobody wants to do yes somebody yes. has to clean the toilets yes somebody has to take care of the kids somebody has to teach the kids somebody has to do the cooking yes somebody has to be run the gas station somebody has to clean the hospitals somebody you know what i'm saying yeah. you got to have those lower class individuals for this society and every society to function on this earth but now in christ you are under a kingdom yes that has a righteous king yes who establishes everyone. In fact, he said the first shall be the last. He uses the lower things to exalt them to higher things. Right. <laughs> and remember, and they also do that, that in Corinthians, talking about the parts, the, bo the body parts. And, yes. And there's, there's more, there's some, I guess, prominent parts and there's some more comely parts. Yes. You know, and he's saying that all of them have an important role to play yes and, and, and really i think one of the things we look at is that when when we said you said like it's, for example you just said anybody that want to listen was the fact is that just because that person is a dishwasher or a, a, a janitor or or a trash collector or whatever it does not give you the right to treat them in a bad way yeah at all because that's what he said bearing the fruits again is to love one another meaning i don't i don't i don't supposed to i don't supposed to abuse you just because you you don't make enough money you don't have the right color you don't have the right political party it does not mean that you're supposed to do bad things like ukraine and russia you okay so you're gonna call them nazis and then you're going to blow their country back to the Stone Ages. Yeah. And there's people dying in those buildings. All those buildings we saw artillery hit. We're talking about hitting hospitals. We're talking about hitting schools. Yeah. People were dying. You know, the man sit there and took a tank and shot at a woman riding on a bicycle. Yeah. Where does that come in as something that Where's the authority to do that? That's not God love. That's man, like you said, Satan who comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And that's why we gotta sit there and walk on that. So you're right, but you're right. Let's so let's 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 talk about the topic. 
we'll get back on track. And 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 you'll love this topic. It's called letting your light shine. Because that's what the world is looking for. <laughs> the world, the world is looking for us to let our light shine. <laughs> Because that darkness you're talking about, that gross darkness you're talking about, uh, is is where the world. That's what the that's what people see is the darkness of this world, we, the selfishness of this world. I think even Clarence Thomas' wife, when she was telling Mark Meadow, uh, "This is war, and in war, everything is on the table," meaning lying yeah cheating and breaking the rules because it's a war and this and that's not how we're supposed to be as believers and the whole point is we we recognize that bible said that a tree is known by its fruit right we've been sitting there too many times allowing people to put themselves in a label but yet not be godly you know what i mean they 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 what do you call it, a form of godliness yeah. Denying the power thereof. We need to make sure that the believers, that's where our light is supposed to shine in darkness, is to say, no, I'm doing it God's way. And therefore, you are responsible to at least let your light shine so somebody else can uh, address with it. Look right here, John 8 12. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. 